All right. So, well, oh, yep, you got your mic back. That's recording. Yep. And then this is on. Surprise you of all people need a mic. Coach Craig, and I'm here with Will Tennyson. And we're going to be answering the questions that you asked us and that you want to know. So let's just get right into it. Just before we start, you know, there's someone beside you. Who's that? Me. But I'm saying you don't have to raise your voice. <laughs> Am I too loud? All right. We'll try to calm it down and we'll answer quietly and see what's going on. I have a hearing aid in now so I can hear what's going on. Maybe that's why. on my bad side. So maybe I can hear myself talk and I won't need to yell so much. There you go. Nutty Foodie Fitness, we both know her. Mm -hmm. First impressions of each other when meeting in person. Yeah, I would say you're more, way more jacked in person. Way more, like, way more like stocky and like built than I thought. So like I'd say that, and I'd say you, you're also more soft-spoken, although I just did say that you're louder. I'd say he actually does speak at a normal volume sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. occasionally, yeah. depends. But yeah, I'd definitely say you're bigger and like speaks at a, a human level. So I'm sometimes. quieter and, and bigger than expected. Yeah. And for me, I thought he was taller and more narrow than expected. I thought he was gonna be just shorter. He's like six foot or maybe a six foot and a quarter. So he's like a full six inches taller than me. So but that was my first impression was that he's like just taller, like more like, like he could play basketball. Yeah. That was my initial first right out of the car impression. I did learn he's a lot stronger than I expected too. And like pretty much everything. And so. that I train legs, right? Because most people think I don't train legs. Why would they think that? Because I don't show them. Jake Anderson, who benches more, Ollie or Allie? I, I, Ollie. I'd say Ollie for sure yeah. outbenches Allie. Allie just yeah. eats too much pizza now. I'd say Allie in her prime probably could outbench Ollie. Ollie's shoulder's a little bit messed up though right now. Mm. Yeah, so it's like a little bit, his legs are a little bit wobbly. But I'd say like back in the day, his prime was like, 425. I that's think. big, big time. With a pause, people. yeah. It like oh. sunk into the chest too. That's and just awesome. Popped. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. have to see. Maybe someday Allie can challenge yeah. Ollie. Yeah. Caitlin Rab asks for Will, how much has Greg's YouTube channel changed your training and diet compared to before you started watching him? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd say, I'd definitely say the training has changed. I'd more say more so than the diet. More. I, the, diet was, the diet hasn't really changed that much. I'd say because I've always been eating like the high volume like fruits and vegetables, making like creative stuff in the kitchen. But I'd say definitely like the being in the gym, higher reps. I used to always train like three to five, went as high as maybe eight, but then now I'm like going like the 15s, really like pushing like the muscular endurance. Okay, as awesome. More, I would never do that before. Okay, I would have yeah. like thought it was the diet, but literally it's the training. He's stronger than me in some of these lifts, so it's clearly working. Yeah, so definitely just lifting in all all the spectrum. So you do like the five reps and then you also do like the 15s, the 20s. Yeah. And train like all elements. Awesome. Yeah. Thy just V-D-A-C. This, how do people come up with their names? They just misspelled the, the it sounds like this V-D-C with a J. Well, anyway. That could be someone's actual name. Oh, I don't want to be insulting. Sorry. Yeah. To both, what's the most awkward thing that happened to you while training? I've gone to the gym one time when I've eaten too much protein. And it's just been like, I've just been like a freaking a gas tank, man. Oh, just smell? Yeah, I just smell. But man. you never actually shit yourself? No, but like, you know those ones where it's like, you practically did? I've, it's uh, like, it's just like, like bad. It's I've, a bad I've full on shit myself in the gym. So really? that's like, to me, a fart's nothing. It's like a smell, that's not embarrassing. Well, you do go pretty hard on I've, those sets. I've, I've shat myself in the gym before, I and can, that's not fun. I could believe that. The that's way that, way that you go, cool like, I mean, all. one slipping out, I've, I've no doubt. Yeah, so I mean, that's probably up there. Yeah. What about today? I don't know if it's awkward, but um, I'd say the Will outlifting me in the squat? I mean, I don't think it was awkward. It was, that was just gonna be it's not like that was awkward. More, that was more expected. Have you ever been pinned on the bench press? No. I've been pinned on the bench press, had to roll it off you my don't, stomach. You shouldn't be ego lifting though. I know, you misjudge. Yeah. I've made mistakes. I'd say, I'd say today, I'd say the fact that you slapped me on the, the and wrap box squat. By what, how many reps? 23 reps? I got 40. Oh, you got 40, I got 17. 17, so yeah, 23, 23 reps. reps. Yeah, that, that's, is that awkward? That's just embarrassing. I don't think it's either. It's yeah. almost to be expected, I would have thought, but. Have you ever taken off all the plates on one side of a squat? Oh, yes. I've done that, it. That's, I've, I would have to. That is embarrassing. Apparently it is, it's apparently it's three plates on one side, and then if you don't have one, it will fall. Three is probably the start limit. Yeah. I once did it with five, and 
five and it slams fast when there's five plates. Yeah. And it, oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I did this thing, but whatever. It happens to us. Yeah. Betterman Boss asks, if you were to snowbird away from Canada for winter, where would you go? Well, I'll answer first because it's Mexico. I'm going to Mexico. 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 Yeah. I love Mexico. I would say probably California. Nice. Or Bahamas, one of the two. California or Bahamas. Are you going to go down south soon? I hope so. I wish. I just I think we can't. We, I don't want to quarantine though. That's the worst part. Yeah. I literally have to quarantine for two weeks to be able to do this trip. So you got to be prepared. You got to yeah. be able to be at your house for two yeah. weeks. Yeah. I mean, I got a gym in my house, like so I can train. So it's not so bad. But yeah. where you, you know, you're not push ups just up. won't cut it for two weeks. You know. No, two yeah. weeks of just doing push ups. It's not so fun. No. Dakshish Sunwalker. That's that's pretty good. To the coach, what's it like being reunited with your son? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I guess. It's pretty cool to meet Will in person for the first time because we spoke on the phone a number of times, text back and forth, and it's good to see what are they going to be like in person. You're a little bit nervous, like, is it going to be awkward? And were you it's nervous like, to meet me? I was. You were nervous to meet me? I was like, I hope I don't... Because <clears throat> people see me on the internet or on YouTube and they think I'm going to scream the entire time. Well, yeah, when, like, you're, when, you're, when the Uber, Uber pulled up, I was like... Yeah, like, people literally, like, they'll come up to me at the gym and they're like... Oh, you're not screaming at me. I'm like, you just came to talk to me at the gym. So it's not the same. So I'm like, is he going to think I'm like, I'm old. I'm 45. He's 25. You don't know. How are you going to get along? But it was fun. We had a great training session. We're training hard than last time, setting PRs and stuff. It was awesome. Yeah. So I had a much better training experience. It was fun eating. So it's gone better than expected. And I expected it to go well. So. Yeah. So it was great. Mm -hmm. Good question. Dawson Hardy. You met Will on his eating challenge turf. So when are we gonna see a cycling race between you two? Oh. When you get the Zwift bike. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Zwift bike and I'll- Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll probably need, what, like a couple months? To get to your level? I'm level C, you'll probably start at D. So yeah, you probably would be at level C pretty quick. Yeah, and then I'll, yeah. I mean, Will's in good shape. He's good athletic background, so. Yeah, I mean, I say a couple months to get the Zwift bike, a couple months and we'll go head to head. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Yeah. It'll be awesome. Yeah. You've Raj Sigagal. Finally, Will is revealing his dad's face. That's a weird way to put it. Is it, is it, kind of, it seems like I had like a bag over your head and all of a sudden I'm like... Oh, I get it now. So like, I'm his dad. Well, technically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not technically, biologically. You're not? I don't think. Am I? That's what I was assuming. He does squat a lot. Yeah. And he does eat a lot. But you He's have, tall. Yeah. But you have facial hair. Yeah, I can see resemblance. How does that get four, 694 likes? That's not even really a question. I know. It's it seems kind of statement. scary. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's interesting how questions go. Yeah. Fully vious. For Will, how does it feel to finally meet your dad and your doctor? You know, it was definitely like at the beginning, my first five minutes, I was kind of, it was kind of just like a, I had some tension there because I was like, where were you? You know? But then what took you so long? Yeah, but I'm a pretty I'm, there for me. Yeah, I'm a pretty forgiving guy, you know, and then he made me the French toast and there's just the rest was history the last. So time. I made up for years of neglect with 26 French toast. years. That's yeah. how good 26 French years. toast is. It made up for all those years of neglect. Yeah. And then you got you, you helped me get a PR today in the, in the gym. So it's, yeah, so that helped even more. It's all, for, it's all forgotten now. That's great. Chris Martinez, what are the standards for good genetics, strength and physique? Does every fitness YouTube have them? So I think that there is no actual standard. You don't have to have a certain body fat percentage or a certain amount of muscle, but you do need to have a certain amount of knowledge. You need to know 5% more of the people watching your channel, which isn't much. So just because you're a famous YouTuber or that you have a lot of followers doesn't mean you actually know anything. It just means you know a little bit more than the people watching you. It could be just this much more. So that's the intellectual, I think that's more important, the physique. Having a good physique, it just, it gets you in the door. It's a lot easier because if you, somebody sees a bunch of muscles pointing at you in, in your face and you're like, oh, they know what they're doing. It doesn't mean anything though, really. But it also depends on like your channel too. Cause I mean, a lot of people who watch me don't necessarily like lift weights and like just more for like the entertainment. But I feel like it's more of like, if you're like more serious into bodybuilding, it's more about like the genetic stuff. But I mean, I don't have the best genetics. I would. Like technically, I mean, if Will's genetics where he has a big stomach and he can eat a lot of food, that would help on an eating challenge video. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it depends. Are you watching me for knowledge, to, for how much you can bench press, how much I can eat, how to lose weight? Are you watching Will for the same thing? So, I mean, it depends on the person and what are they looking for. So there's no real answer. I don't think there's a standard. I think anyone yeah. could do it. 
Anyone could do it, really. Or maybe they mean like genetics is like easier for someone to build muscle, like easier for someone to like lift 400 pounds, easier for someone to like bench 300. Like do people on YouTube just get that easier? I would say on average they do, but there's certainly people that don't. Yeah. We know a lot of YouTubers that have no muscle that can't bench two plates and they still have a good following. Mm -hmm. So it's irrelevant, I think. It's more about the personality that you, I mean, cause you could be boring as hell and have a great physique and no one's gonna watch you. Yeah, you could be yeah. super smart, know everything, and stand there and read it off of a script and be boring and no one's gonna want you. So that, that's yeah. a good point. I, S. Electra, I expect this meeting to going something like this. Will, I am your father. Didn't really go like that. It didn't, it didn't. It was more like storytelling and talking about YouTube and like what's going on and what are our goals and what's it been like and what yeah. are the struggles and what is the positive. Like so, yeah, future goals, plans. Yeah. Because obviously we have a lot in common. We make YouTube videos and yeah. we went from having no followers to a lot of followers. So you can kind of relate. It's very interesting to see a different perspective because mm -hmm. I don't often get a chance to talk to other people and see what are the pros and cons. And yeah. I would agree. interesting. Yeah. Rajan Patnaik. The biggest question of them all. I mean, honestly, I thought this would come up. What is Will's subscriber count? It's a secret, but I'll be revealing it soon. Really? Yeah. In, in a future video? Yeah. It'll be revealed How soon? soon? In the next month? This year? Well, it's all up to people watching. How soon? So hopefully soon. Here's a better question. Soon, but not yet. Does, who has more subscribers, Coach Greg or Will, at the time of the reveal? That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Because, I mean, he might have more now or less than that. We don't know. We might have mm -hmm. the tie. It might be the same. Mm -hmm. We don't know. So... Maybe write in the comments section, who do you think has more? Frick Maddox. Finally, Greg came back from the store after getting milk. So apparently I, I ran off on his mom. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get some milk and- She didn't quite say it like that. It wasn't so well. Yeah. So yeah, I'm back I, I, and I didn't even remember to get the milk. <laughs> it's the worst part. Cashew milk, man. We don't drink milk. We don't. Yeah, no milk. I do actually have milk in my coffee. Yeah, I don't know why that. So, I, that, that, just, that disappointed me. Really? But yeah. it's high protein milk. No, just black, man. Black coffee is where it's at. I can drink it, but I don't enjoy it. But I, I'm a Don't drink your calories. Right? You can't drink your calories. That's I what actually you... like those calories. Just protein calories. Okay. The protein milk I have is 13 grams of protein per cup. Hmm. It's a lot more expensive. 13 grams more. of protein? 13. It's lower carb. The cows are no the, fat. The cows are in HRT and Halifax. I don't know what they do. They just add in, uh, yeah, maybe it's HRT infused cow milk. Yeah, only in Halifax. So there it is. Yeah. Bailey McGuire. Who is more likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? Obviously me. I think you have to obviously admit that. How is there an obvious answer to that? You don't even know how to operate a phone. But would you need a, a yeah. phone during a zombie apocalypse? Like, Did you see how you made that French toast? I made a zombie French toast, yeah. but doesn't that mean I would probably survive it better? No. Really? I think I would survive a zombie mm. apocalypse better because I watch zombie movies all the time. I, I know how to do it. How you do stay it? inside. You don't leave the house. Never. You don't open the door. And I have way more food stored at my house than you do. That's true. That's true. It's good arguments. But I mean, I, oh man, I'd be like out and about, man. I'd be like, I'd be like the guy in the, in like a. And my car is faster. It's if not, I had not, to drive, I could drive. It's not about the fast. cars. It's not about the cars. Who drives it? That's a good point. Yeah. And your truck is bigger. Yeah. I called it a truck. Would you? Is that? It's, the, it's an is SUV. That, it's SUV. not really a truck. It's an SUV. Like, yeah. Yeah. See, I'm so old. I don't. If, if it's not a car, it's an. It's a truck to yeah. me. I think you should stick to bodybuilding and just making low calorie recipes. Or dieting. Yeah. And not like. Yeah. I'd say. I, I'd say. I do. Yeah. I have to retire from powerlifting. Apparently, Will's beating me already. <clears throat> what do I have left? I have bodybuilding. I still got that. Mm -hmm. And I still got the annoying voice, so I still got something going on. Yeah. Alex Dias, should one directly train their core muscles or do squats, deadlifts take care of them? I hope they do, because I don't train them. I also don't train my core. Mm -hmm. Will doesn't train your core. I mean, obviously you can, but you don't need to. And yes, those exercises absolutely train your core. Think of it, if your core is injured and you try to squat, you can't squat. I'd say the only benefit to training core is that you'd see them probably at a higher body fat, right? Because they're more developed. If you have thicker muscles, then you'd see them through the fat layer more. Mm -hmm. However, you'd also have a thicker waist, which would make you look like less aesthetic. Yeah. So there's pros and cons to doing it. Yeah. I don't do it. I don't 
want to do it. I wouldn't waste my time in the gym doing it. I'd do it at home if you wanted. Yeah, it's yeah. Like something to throw in on the side and if you really want to, but generally the people that want abs, you need to, to eat less or do more cardio. Mm -hmm. Doing a bunch of sit-ups is not gonna get you the core that you yeah. want. Next time on Coach Greg. Like, I'm with Will, like, what are we doing? We're doing a Q&A. Or do you, whenever you make those videos, I'm like, is, is your, your vein gonna pop in your neck? It's freaking 2020. Yeah. I can be a girl if I want. I'm a donut. Perfect, I'm a freaking circle. How do you get so loud? You need suction. I have good suction muscles. That's what she said. <laughs>